The Forest of Hope. This area is probably my favorite area of this game. Just because, to me, it's more of the actual starting area of the game, and it's the one I remember the most. So, I really like it. My dolphin has returned to the surface along with the Pikmin's onion. Being alone on this strange planet makes me somewhat uneasy, so I shall call the Pikmin out of the onion. All I need to do is stand in the light beneath the onion and press A. So let's go ahead and call out our little buddies. All 25. And we'll go ahead and get all these free flowers they have sitting here for us. And they'll pick that up. See, that one's yellow. So we're gonna possibly get yellow Pikmin in the future. Which will be nice. Each Pikmin has its own, uh, own like little thing that they can do. Uh, the, f the red Pikmin are immune to fire, which is why they're red. And as we get more Pikmin colors, I'll explain what each of them have as a specialty. I'm gonna wait for this guy to sprout. I mean, they need to knock down this gate. I've already started doing. Actually, there's another thing that will make this process go faster. So you can see on the top of their heads they have all leaves right now. If we go over to this little patch of grass, they are very attracted to this grass and they will find nectar. And this nectar helps them sprout flowers. Another intriguing discovery, a local variety of glass produces a sort of yellow nectar. When the Pikmin drink this delicacy, they instantly mature into flowers. This apparent Pikmin fa favorite seems to be full of nutrition. Closer observation is needed to determine the strengths and peculiarities of these flower Pikmin. So yeah, flower Pikmin are basically the strongest form of the Pikmin variety. There's also the Leaf Pikmin, which are how they start out as, and those are the weakest and um, the slowest. So as you saw when I was leading around the Leaf Pikmin, they kind of lagged behind like that guy. And then now they'll be faster at uh, knocking this gate down. Now out there you can see this, these like ladybug guys, they are our first enemy we'll encounter, the ferocious baby ladybugs. There's actually uh, actual names for them, but I can't really remember that right now. They have names, and there's the mama ladybug. Scary. Alright, all done. Let's go fight the first ferocious enemy. Fight, 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 fight. And they're not that hard. They're really easy. Especially if you land it right on top of them, it squishes them immediately. So that helps, gives like an instant kill kind of thing. And we'll go ahead, get all these flowers. Alright, you four. You think you can take these two on? Oh, 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 we lost one. Our first death. Come on, guys. Come on. Get him. There we go. All right. I know. Your buddy got eaten. I'm so sorry. Whoops, that'll happen a lot, trust me. Go ahead and pluck all these newcomers, get some more flowers out of them, then we'll take on the mama ladybug. Come on guys. Alright. Yeah, and they fall and trip sometimes. You have to kind of wait for them, otherwise if you leave them behind they'll just stay there sometimes. And the best way to defeat these mama ladybugs you gotta sneak behind them. And then you bum rush them. Bum rush, bum rush. Get her, get her, get her. And she's down. Alright. I'm gonna have some of these guys work on this fence. And then pick up her. Alright. Carry all that back. They're working on that. 
And yeah, we'll come approach this thing over here you guys might have seen. Why, it's the Eternal Fuel Dynamo. It has an unlimited un energy supply. I won't have to worry about saving electricity anymore. This will make my fight for survival a bit easier. So yeah, we have discovered a new ship part that easily. They just have it sitting right there for us. I'm gonna grab this big pellet. Ten pellets are really good. Come on. And we'll pick all these new sprouts. My clock has indicated the coming of noon. From now on, I must pay close attention to the sun meter on my monitor and choose my actions accordingly. So it is best for me to review my monitor's data. Across the top of my monitor are the sun meter and day display. At the bottom are my spacesuit space damage meter and Pikmin gauges. From the left, these numbers reflect Pikmin under my command, Pikmin in the field, and total Pikmin including those in the onions, like I said before. To adjust my monitor, I can press L to rotate the camera, R to zoom, and Z to change the viewpoint. I can also press Y to view a detailed computer analysis. So yeah, that's just another kind of overview. You get a lot of those kind of pop-ups in the beginning of this game, but then they start to go away once you have it all figured out. I'm just going to leave those guys. If you leave them in the ground for a while, they will just start producing like sprouts and flowers. So sometimes it's, it's better to leave them in the ground so that they can become flower pikmin. They'll take that part back to the ship. Get these guys. Ooh. Wonder if I have enough to get her. Let's see. I'm gonna throw them right on her. Cause it's best to bum rush only when you have enough Pikmin to get that. Oh, she's gonna get some. Ooh, she missed. Yes. Alright, you guys. Actually, no. Leave her. You guys come over here and stay. Oh. Part is back to the ship. Now we have electricity! Eternal fuel dynamo. This should light things up. No more candles for me. I have now recovered two out of 30 parts. If I can find just three more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. And that basically means we'll be able to go to the next area in the overworld. And what's this? We have our yellow Pikmin. So yeah, the yellow Pikmin, as you will see, are slightly different from the reds. We'll wait for it to sprout up, and then pluck it. And look at this guy with his big ears. The color is different, but it seems to be a Pikmin nonetheless. First glance suggests that one has what, in some circles, could be considered very large ears. It looks like it may weigh less than the others. In what other ways might it be different from the red Pikmin? No matter. They are obviously quite similar, so I shall call this one a Pikmin as well. So yes, we have the yellow Pikmin, and as he said, they do weigh less, so they fly much higher than the others, as you can see when I throw this guy. And so, that is their special ability. They do have one other special ability that I will show off a little later. But first, we need to get more. I have made yet another Pikmin-related discovery. Just when I was about to exceed 100 Pikmin in the field, the onions stopped expelling seeds. Yet the total number of Pikmin continued to climb. It seems that once there are 100 Pikmin in the field, subsequent seeds get stored inside the onion. Thus, no more than 100 Pikmin can be in the field at one time in any area. So yeah, you can't exceed more than 100 Pikmin, so you have to kind of strategize of what Pikmin you want to have with you at certain times. Otherwise you can just go back to the onion and get different ones. But that just wastes the day. Now the first day there was no time limit but as you can see in the top of the screen we now have a day timer 
which you don't want to be caught without all of your Pikmin once that time runs out. Otherwise, bad things happen. Alright, so now let's show off these Pikmin's other special ability. What is this? The yellow Pikmin have picked up some peculiar stones. Why do they decide to grab them? This action seems to be instinctive to the yellow Pikmin, but just what are these strange glowing stones? Brightly glowing cracks cover them. Perhaps these cracks indicate that there's tremendous power locked away within. This merits further research. So we have them grabbing these peculiar stones. wonder what they do. Well, let's throw them at what they're next to. They are bomb rocks! The glowing rocks the yellow Pikmin picked up to seem explosive stones. Perhaps they know that these stones can be used as powerful weapons. The bomb rocks are dangerous, so I must take care when using them. But they should be able to blast open the stone walls that block the pathways. I may have even been able, be able to use them against some of the wild creatures. I must be vigilant. Pikmin I dismiss by press pressing X bring their bombs when I call them back. Pikmin I throw by pressing A drop their bombs when I call them back. Keep clear of the explosion. When I touch Pikmin directly, they keep their bombs and fall in line. So yeah, I have made that mistake where you accidentally set off all the bombs and kill all of your Pikmin in the group. <laughs> it is not a good situation to be in. Come on, guys. We will fight these guys for you and then let them take... Nope. Right, get him, get him, get him, get him. Ah, nope. No. No. Get back here. Now it's almost sundown. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get the last one. My clock is indicating the approach of sunset. Pikmin waiting beneath the onion and dolphin and onions will probably enter the onions on their own. But if I don't call the stragglers and add them to my group, they might may not be able to get back. I am sure that the Pikmin still planted are safe, but I am somewhat concerned about leaving Pikmin to fend for themselves in the darkness. So we're just gonna try and get these ones that we have killed so far. Alright. It does not look like we're gonna get that ship part that we saw, but that's okay. We can get it tomorrow. Hopefully we don't leave anyone behind. It's always the worst. The ones that are left in the starting area will be fine. They'll go back to the onion on their own. Now hopefully we have everyone else. You guys too. We'll find out. Since I'm all back to the onion, let's get in our ship. Did we leave anyone behind? Nope, we're all good. If we would have left anyone, they would have been ladybug food. It's not good. Two days since impact. It appears that many of my ship's parts have landed in this region. If I can just recover the parts of my radar, I should be able to use my radar screen. How that would improve my chances. Then I'd only have to press Y to locate my parts. Yet. There seem to be many hostile lifeforms here. If I'm attacked and my spacesuit takes damage, I must return to my ship, stand in front of it, and press A to make suit repairs. As I explore, I must pay attention to my suit's damage meter in the bottom left corner of the screen. And there we have it. We've sprouted 103 more Pikmin today, and we lost 7. It's a bummer. But yeah. We managed to get one more ship part. Sometimes I'm able to get that other one in the same day if I'm lucky. You just gotta be really fast about it. But one isn't bad. 
you get at least one a day, then you're definitely going to make it. And I usually get uh, more than that. So that's where I'm going to leave off, guys. Thanks for joining me, and I hope you come back to watch the next video of this. See ya!